Hi there, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to test an N-channel MOSFET practically. But before we dive into the test, let's first get familiar with the MOSFET transistor and understand what kind of transistor it actually is. Well, first of all, it's worth mentioning that a MOSFET is a type of transistor widely used in many electronic circuits. From frequency and switching circuits to being used as a driver for controlling motors or adjusting light intensity. MOSFETs come in their standard packages with three pins named gate, drain, and source. The gate pin is the activation pin of the MOSFET. By applying a small pulse or voltage to the gate, the MOSFET gets activated. The drain pin is responsible for controlling the output current of the transistor and is somewhat equivalent to the collector pin in BJT transistors. The source pin is responsible for monitoring and controlling the output voltage in MOSFETs, similar to the emitter pin in BJT transistors. MOSFETs are categorized into various types. Here we'll briefly mention these categories and provide short explanations for each. N-channel MOSFETs. These MOSFETs have two negative terminals, which is why they are referred to as N-channel. P-channel MOSFETs. These MOSFETs have two positive terminals, which is why they are called P-channel MOSFETs. Typically, in P-channel MOSFETs, the source pin is connected to the negative terminal of the power supply or the circuit's negative rail. Depletion mode MOSFETs. In a depletion mode MOSFET, the connection between the source and drain pins is normally cut off. This remains the case until the gate pin receives a voltage, at which point the MOSFET starts conducting current and establishes a connection between the source and drain. The operation of this type of MOSFET is such that under normal conditions, the connection between the source and drain is established. When the gate receives a voltage, the connection between the source and drain is cut off. Now, let's move on to the practical test of the MOSFET using a multimeter so you can learn how to test a MOSFET and ensure its health. After we've provided the necessary explanations and you've learned about MOSFETs, now we want to test a MOSFET practically. Here I have a MOSFET with the model number IRFZ44N, which is one of the most commonly used MOSFETs and is utilized in many projects. It doesn't matter which MOSFET model you're using, you just need to first search its model number on the internet and check its data sheet based on the model number to understand its pin configuration. The MOSFET I want to test is an N-channel MOSFET, also known as a negative MOSFET. Alright, according to the data sheet of this MOSFET, when I hold it like this, the first pin on the left is the gate, the second pin in the middle is the drain, and the third pin is the source. Now, I'll perform the test based on this configuration. Alright, first we set the multimeter to diode test mode. The first step is to ensure that the MOSFET isn't short-circuited, meaning its pins are not shorted together. Keep in mind that we're progressing step by step. First, I place the black probe on the source pin and the red probe on the drain pin. You'll notice that there is no reading on the multimeter and the multimeter doesn't beep. This means the pins are not shorted together. This time, I reverse the probes, placing the black probe on the drain and the red probe on the source. If the MOSFET is working properly, you should see a reading on the multimeter. And yes, we observe a reading of 573, so remember this value. So, the result of this first test indicates that the MOSFET pins are not shorted, which is a good sign. After performing this test, I reconnect the black probe to the source pin and the red probe to the gate pin, then disconnect it for a moment. Now, while the black probe is still on the source pin, I connect the red probe to the drain pin. As you can see, the connection between the pins is established, and we observe a lower reading on the multimeter. Now I swap the probes again, connecting the red probe to the source and the black probe to the drain. You'll notice that the multimeter shows a much lower reading indicating that the connection the drain and source pins is fully established. The connection between the pins was established when we briefly connected the red probe to the gate pin. The red probe always provides a small voltage to apply to components. So by applying this small voltage to the gate, we effectively turned on the MOSFET, which allowed the source and drain pins to connect and enable current conduction. While the MOSFET is in the on state, Notice that when I place the red probe on the drain and the black probe on the source, the pins are still in a state of current conduction. Even if I swap the probes, you'll still observe that the pins are connected to each other. 
To finalize the test and ensure the MOSFET is working properly, I connect the black probe to the drain pin and briefly connect the black probe to the gate pin, then disconnect it. By doing this, we turn the MOSFET off again, deactivate the gate pin. When the MOSFET is turned off, the connection between the pins will be cut. To confirm this, I connect the black probe to the source and the red probe to the drain. If the MOSFET is functioning correctly, we shouldn't see any reading on the multimeter. And yes, as you can see, the multimeter shows no reading, indicating the connection between the pins has been cut. If the MOSFET you're testing performs like this, it indicates that the MOSFET is working correctly, and you can use it in your circuits. It doesn't matter whether the MOSFET is removed from an existing circuit or newly purchased. If it behaves this way, it means it's functioning properly. With this test, you can be sure that your MOSFET is working correctly. If it seems a bit complicated, I recommend rewinding the test section in the video and watching it several times while practicing along with the video. I've explained each step which will help you understand it clearly. So that's the method for testing an N-channel or negative MOSFET. In another video on this channel, I will also teach you how to test a P-channel or positive MOSFET. Until the next tutorial, goodbye.